Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this month's Did You Know webinar. My name is Samantha, and I am part of the training and support team here at Hawks Learning. Over the next 20 minutes or so, I'll be walking you through an overview of our attendance tool, including how you can set up an attendance policy within Hawks and the ways in which it can impact your students' grades. If you happen to have any questions throughout my session, please feel free to chat those into the Q&A box, which is located at the bottom center of Zoom, and I'll be sure to reserve some time at the end to address your questions. So with that, I'll go ahead and share my screen so that we can go ahead and get started. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right in. You can see I have my Teach account pulled up, so we're going to go ahead and log in to get started. And as per usual, we're going to choose the grade book that we would like to set up any changes in. Now, in order to access our attendance policy, you'll need to navigate to our grade settings tab here. And then the next to last option is our attendance policy. Now, I'm sure you're all very familiar with the concept of an attendance policy, so I won't bore you with those details. But what I would like to do today is walk you through how to set one up that you can implement in Hawk and go through the different options that you have with our attendance policy tool. Now, this screen might look a little bit familiar, and you have probably already noticed that we use templates for attendance policy. Now, um, we do this in other areas of the gradebook as well. So similar to those areas, you can see the list of your sections on the left-hand side over here. And then we have the templates on the right-hand side that we wish to be implemented for those sections. If you have an existing template that you would like to implement for your se section, all you have to do is select the drop-down arrow, again, similarly to other areas of the gradebook, and select the template you wish to use. However, if you are building a template for the first time, for example, or don't have any, then you can either click directly on your section name to get started, or we can actually go to Manage by Template here, and we can go ahead and click Create New Template. Now, this, as you can tell, is simple and easy to navigate, and this is what is entailed with our template creation process. So the first thing you'll need to do is give your attendance template a name. I'm just going to name mine demonstration for the purpose of today's tutorial, and then you need to choose if you'd like to share it with other instructors or not. If you would like other instructors to be able to use your template, simply select this box right here, or if you don't wish for them to use it, just make sure it is not selected. At this point in time, it is a best practice to go ahead and just click Save Changes, and that way our template has been created and all we're doing is updating the settings involved in it at this point in time. Now, after you set up your template name and choose if you want to share it or not, this is when you'll be able to choose what type of attendance policy you would like to implement for your section. So we have three different options here. Our first option is just to record attempt, uh, excuse me, attendance for tracking purposes only. So this option, exactly like it sounds, we're just tracking when students were present, when they were absent, so on and so forth, and it's not going to affect students' grades at all. Our second option, however, is deducting from the student's grade as a penalty. So this is going to deduct based on whatever um, penalty you set forth. Typically, this will deduct from the student's overall grade based on what you implement. So this one, unlike the first one, does obviously alter your student's grade. Now, our third option, similarly to the second one, will also affect your student's grade, but this one would be setting up attendance as an assignment. So with this one, and we'll dive more into this a little bit in a few minutes, but this option essentially creates attendance as an assignment. It allows us to give attendance a certain weight that is factored into your student's overall grade and is obviously also implementing your student's grade as well. So once we've decided which attendance policy we would like to set up for our section, we then can keep moving on down the list of what we need to do to finish creating our template. 
And the next thing we see is our start date for attendance. Now, you do have the option to not implement a start date if you want to, but we recommend as a best practice to implement a start date. And you, as you can see, you have the option of implementing your section start date, or if you would like to um, have it start on a different date, maybe after the add drop period passes, for example, you can use the other section here. Simply select other, and then you can either type into the box what date you would like this attendance policy to take place, or you can actually use this calendar icon here, click on the calendar, toggle through and choose the date for the template to start. So once you've chosen your start date, you do also need to choose an end date in the same fashion. We still have our section end date as an option, and we can still choose a different date for the end date as well, in a similar way by either typing in the box or selecting the calendar icon to toggle through and choose our date. Once we have our start and end dates implemented, now we have where we can enter in our rules for our attendance policy. So this is the great area to enter in any additional rules that you would like implemented so that your Hawks attendance policy matches the syllabus that you've implemented for your course. An example of this would be, let's say you have a rule in your syllabus that says, if your students are marked as um, arriving late three days, then that will equate to one absence. You can also implement that here with adding these rules. So let's put that one in just for the sake of today's tutorial. So this will say every three days that are marked as and instead of present, we're going to choose the drop down menu. So every three days marked as arrived late is equivalent to one absence. Once we have this, we just need to click add rule. And now we can see our rule listed below. So we know that we've already put that in and we don't have to worry about putting it in again. Should we decide that we no longer want that rule or maybe we typed in the wrong number of days and just need to edit the rule for any reason? We can use the red X to delete or the pencil icon to edit. Now, you can also have multiple rules in here as well. So maybe you want to have something similar for students who leave class early. So let's say maybe every two days that a student is marked as leaving early is also equivalent to one absence. So we'll fill those fields in, click add rule, and now that is listed there as well. So once you have all of your rules implemented, the last area we need to look at for template creation is this little box down here that says display attendance information to students. Now, this we recommend as a best practice opting into if you decide to use either of the attendance policy options that are affecting your students' grades. By selecting this, this allows your students to track their own um, attendance records within their student platform, and it allows them to view them as grades. Now, again, we'll go over that in a few minutes, but we just wanted to take one second to point this out so that you knew where to locate it. So now that we've got everything on this page taken care of, we're going to go ahead and click Save Changes to make sure we don't lose any of that progress that we made. And at this point in time, our template is ready to go. Now, our template is ready, which means it does still need to be assigned out to the section that we choose. To do that, we can easily click Copy to another section. And from here, we can select all, or we can select an individual or multiple sections that we would like to assign this template to. So we can do that very easily. Once you have um, assigned it to your section, we can then click Back to Manage Attendance. And when we click Manage by Section, this takes us back to our attendance policy landing page. So that's everything that's entailed for actually creating your template. Now, once you have that created and assigned to your section, you do still need to input the attendance. So it's really easy to put that in, but we're actually going to navigate to the Assignments tab now, and I'll show you how to input attendance records. Now in the right hand column, you'll see down here, we have edit attendance by date. So in here, 
This is our edit attendance by date area. You just want to make sure that right here where you see date is you have the date um, selected here, which you would like to put records in for. It'll default to today's date, but similarly to the earlier area we were just in, you can click the calendar and actually toggle to a different date if you'd like to put in old records, maybe. Once you've chosen your date, down at the bottom, you'll see a list of your students and you just need to come to the student which you wish to enter the record for. You'll select from the drop down menu in the status column and you can choose whichever entry is most pertinent to the situation. So present or maybe arrived late or absent, whichever it may be, you choose your entry and you'll hit save changes. And then that is all that there is to inputting your student's attendance. Now, once you've actually input attendance, you might be wondering if there's a way that you can track those records. I know we touched on it a second ago, so let's walk through how you can actually track that. So now we started in grade settings, we navigated to assignments, and in order to track our attendance records, we're now going to navigate into the reports tab. Now there are a few different reports in here that will help you track your attendance records. There are two towards the bottom, attendance summary and detailed student attendance are two that are available and definitely great resources. My favorite, however, is this detailed student grades, which you may or may not already be familiar with. If you're not, detailed student grades is where you can go to see all grades for all assignments for one particular student. To use the report, simply click in the box right here. You can type your student's name, or you can just come in and select the student whose records you want to view. So I will select my first student here, and this shows us how we can view attendance records for um, tracking only, when we set up an attendance policy for tracking only. So as you can see, we see all of our students' grades on the bottom, just as we were if we were not using an attendance policy. We still see their overall grade and the number of certifications complete, but now we have this area right here for attendance summary. And this shows us how many entries have been marked for each type of um, attendance record. So we'll see this student here has uh, six classes that they were marked present for and one class which they were marked absent for. Now we can also view what it looks like for an attendance policy where you're deducting from the overall grade. So again, we see everything on this page that we normally do in a detailed student grades report. We still have our attendance summary that shows us how many classes they were present, absent, so on and so forth. But now, even though the student obviously has a 100 on all of their assignments, their overall grade is a 99 out of 100. And if you've noticed, there is this nice little red star here drawing our attention. And this is indicating, indicating to us that the final grade has been reduced by 1% due to the attendance policy that was implemented. So again, this is the overall grade deduction policy. And this one, this in particular one has been set up so that one point is deducted for each absence. So since this student was absent for one class, that is why their grade has gone down from a 100 to a 99. Moving right along, the last type of attendance policy is our attendance as an assignment. So again, just like the other two, we still see all of the students' grades, we can still see their attendance summary, but now we may have already noticed that the student, instead of a 99 or 100, they have a 98.57 out of 100. So same grades on the assignments, all 100s, but now we have our attendance assignment, attendance assignment, excuse me, listed down at the bottom. So it shows up as an actual assignment in your uh, report. Now, just like your other assignments, you can see the breakdown of this grade. And the way the attendance assignment works is that this grade under the grade percent is what's factored in based on the dedicated weight that is uh, factored for those students' overall grade. So this one is set up to be 10% of the student's overall grade. We see the student has earned six points out of seven. And what this means is that the seven possible points is, means there are seven classes that an attendance record was put in for, and out of those, the student has been present for six of them. 
So then six divided by seven equates to 85.71, which is 10% of the student's grade, and therefore how we end up at 98.57% for the overall grade. So that is how you can view attendance records in your instructor platform um, based on whichever attendance policy you choose to implement. And I know we only have a few minutes left, but I did want to just let you know that students can also view their own attendance records should you allow them to based on that setting that we reviewed when we were creating the template. To show you, I'm actually going to jump over to my student dashboard really quickly. As a reminder, the student dashboard is just a way for you to see anything that you've implemented from the student view. So this is what our students see when they log in. I'm gonna go ahead and click view course in this class, just as your students would. When this finishes loading, the next thing I'm going to do is hit grades so that I can show you how our attendance grade shows up here to students. So again, up top, we're going to hit grades. And now we have a couple of options. Students can view their grades either with their overview tab or now they have a specific attendance tab that they can look at too. So their view is similar to yours as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. They can see their overall grade. They can see all of their grades for their lessons or any other grades that are in at this point in time. And then this particular student has been enrolled in a section that has attendance as an assignment implemented. So that is why you can see their attendance assignment listed with their other assignments in here. Again, they see points earned, points possible, and what their actual attendance grade is, and that is being factored into their overall grade. They can also view by attendance where they can see each individual entry. So students can see which classes they were marked present for and which class they were marked absent for. So this is all that I had for you guys today, and I hope that you have found this helpful. Um, quick little overview of our attendance tool. I have reserved a little bit of time to address any questions you have, so please feel free to chat those into the Q&A box now. If anyone has any questions, please feel free to put them in Q&A and I would be happy to address those. We do still have a couple of minutes left, so if something comes up, please let me know. Looks like we do have one question that has come in. The question is, is there a way to attach pictures with names as it is hard for me to remember names and faces? This is an excellent question. And I do know that students have the option to actually upload a picture of themselves with their Fox account that can be associated with that. Whether this shows with your attendance records or not, I would be happy to look further into it and get back in touch with you. If there are any other questions, please feel free to put those into the Q&A section now and I'd be happy to address them as well. If there are no more questions, we are right up on our time. And of course, if you do have any questions come up, 
please don't hesitate to reach out to your training and support specialist for more information. And with that being said, thank you so much for attending today, and I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful day.